What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching my video. I do appreciate it. Basically, I'm making this video because my garage is changing, and I did always want to do this video just to show everyone kind of the Harbor Freight box and all the benefits and what it could really do because a lot of people are always talking to me about it. A lot of people are always asking online and you know, what should I get for home? What should I get for at work? And I am not making it a comparison video. That is definitely not what I'm doing. This box, I'm not even going to open this box. There's not even as much stuff in it as there is in this box. This is my home shop. I do not even want to turn around because I just cleaned my floors. So there is crap everywhere. But it's very small. It's only like... 400 square feet maybe you know single bay all right whatever you know lift it's just crap everywhere my lathe bunch of cores i need to go back blah 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 shelving everywhere everything is changing it used to be two tables everything was different but anyway i'm gonna drag this video on and uh also this is my first youtube video ever so i do apologize if you know, things happen. Also, if the video cuts, I am sorry. I am doing this on my phone. And, uh, you know, I may get phone calls or people knocking on my door. It's very late, but you never know around here. Anyway, let's just go do this damn thing. It's a Harbor Freight 56-inch box. I bought it for full price, I think. Because they don't take 20%. And I didn't catch it on the week that they do the discount and all that. $800. It has been great. I'm extremely happy with it. You know, this is my home shop. But I do, you know, it. this may look overwhelming to a lot of people. But, you know, I basically work for a major factory. You know, you know a major factory talking, you know, manufacturer as a technician, excuse me, but, you know, I just quit, actually, I'm kind of transitioning into my own shop that I'm opening to the public soon, so this is kind of my limbo time, I had to bring the box here, whatever, but this may look intimidating to a lot of people, but, you know, I do work out of this garage every single day, I work out of this box every day, you know, from oil changes to motors to you name it. But I'm going to try to give everyone, you know, the best advice on these tools. Maybe what I regret, what I don't regret, what I love, you know, maybe how much I paid for it. Anyway, I'm going to drag the video. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can because I got a lot of crap. Basically, you know, I got all my half inch on top. You know, I'm doing this video because everything's changing. I'm moving some of the stuff out of this box and it's going into this box because in my new shop, I'm just going to have them sitting next to each other and, you know, I could just, it'll be easier for me to find stuff. There's so much crap in this box. I can't even find anything sometimes. But anyway, I got all my half inch pretty big all the way up to, I don't know, 32 or something. I mean, these are all old Cornwells actually. They're pretty bad as, you know, I'm sorry if you can't see that. They're old, they're beat down, but they're good. These are, believe it or not, Harbor Freight. They're fantastic, they're chrome malignum. I beat the hell out of them every damn day. They're absolutely great. I have another set in that box. Like I said, I'm not even opening that box in this video. That might be a next video, I don't know, but there's a lot of snap on and nice sets and stuff in there, but basically I'm just doing this box because it's going to change. So basically, you know, the shorts all, hard, these are all half inch impact, you know, these are all Maco. These are their cheaper ones, the ADV line, but they're great. I beat the crap out of these two. Like, um, Chrome 12 points. 
chrome 12 points. So these I just got off the Mako truck, actually. These are their new stubbies that are in the flyer. Already use them all the time. They're fantastic. These are, you know, chrome six points. You know, we got quarter inch. I love quarter inch. Uh, these are uh, star. And when I mean star, it's like the American version. I don't know. There might be another word for it. But these are the inverted torques. These are the inverted star, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Somebody might know online. These are awesome. These are the Lyle tap sockets. Um, you know, these are from Harbor Freight. They're all right. They're probably going to break soon. Uh, these are from Harbor Freight, and I don't think they're going to break soon. They're really big. They, they only sell them in like half inch. I know they do sell 3 eighths. I have them in that other box, I think. But uh, they're good. I mean, I know they're Series 2 steel. You know, the black part. This is, you know, vanadium. But I don't think these will break. These were cheap. These were probably like 20 bucks from Harbor Freight. I just bought them to have them in here. They're great. I use them. The Torx bits. Um, these are Hex. I don't know what uh, these are. I got four all the way up to like a 17 um these are for getting on wheels you know that with fancy wheels like real like low profile uh extensions you know swivels or oh, you gotta have swivels this is just craftsman um you know this is basically my whole metric side i have a lot of chrome half inch back there you know i don't have chrome Half inch, six points, deep or shallow in this box. And I don't really see a need for them. Like, yeah, I guess I could use them. I have them in this box. But I don't know. I guess I'm always going to the impacts. Just even if it's on a, you know, hand wrench, whatever. But I got a lot of crap, you know. Mac, this sucks. I, I broke this thing a long time ago. Uh, the Mako guy, I don't, I didn't really was buying from him much at the time and he was cool and he was trying to get me a new one but it was on back order for in all honesty i think i waited a year and four or five months for this ratchet and uh, so you know i use it on like interior and all that stuff but you lay on it it's gonna break um this one however from snap one is the complete opposite best ratchet in the world you can put a damn breaker bar you know it won't break um yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why my iPhone seems to be so damn zoomed in, but this is all standard. This is also the shallow uh, half inch from Mako. Seriously, I think I only paid 100 for these. And I think the 3 eighths, these are half inch. The 3 eighths, I think I paid like $40 for. Um, you know, impacts. I don't know why I have a lot of standard. Um, you know, just a regular wrench from Harbor Freight. This thing's pretty damn cool, actually. I use it a lot, way more than I thought. Thought I would never use it. But, uh, I don't know, drive shafts maybe when you're getting lazy and you don't want to go back up to the top of the car and take it out of gear. I don't know. Use it a lot sometimes. Axles maybe, I don't know. Um, swivels from Maco. I'm really not a fan of these. I don't know why they don't seem to like deliver torque, if that makes any sense to you guys. I don't know if it's the way they designed it. I don't know if it's in my head, whatever. Got a little fab forms on there. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to show you some weird stuff I got. Just a Lyle. It's actually from Mac, but it's a Lyle, the crank pulley bolt remover for Hondas. Best thing ever. I mean, you could probably. You could probably put this on my 3 8 You could probably put this, adapt this onto my 3 8 gun and you'd probably take the pulley right off. Um, just a bunch of big ass sockets. I mean, this thing's kick ass. I mean, you can't beat this thing from, uh, I'm sorry, wow, I almost said Harbor Freight. Snap on. It is expensive. It's probably almost $200, but use it all the damn time. Badass, um, you know, torque sticks, we got gigantic extensions, uh, it's a quarter inch giant extension, I mean, 
just you know the deal. These I got kick ass deal for $90, I think, off the truck. He had like way too many of them. Snap one. I just got on these like brand new. Um I know I'm gonna drag this video, I'm sorry. Gotta use torch sticks, please. Um you know, real quick, if you wanna bust down on this top drawer, it's all just random crap, you know. Torch fittings, bleeder fittings, uh you know, AC fittings. Blah, blah, tire plugs, blah, blah, blah. This is just like the most random drawer ever, nuts and bolts and anything. I just feel like throwing in there. Um, These are all just reams, you know, these are all just drill bits. And these are actually pretty cool. I haven't even really used them much. Uh, Banjo fittings and all that. You can block them off so you're not dripping crap all over your forehead. Um, aluminum rivets. You ever got to do any body work or street bike ever pulls in and wants you to put all this crap on? Yep. That's just what happened. Um, you know, gigantic taps. This thing is, I think I, this for like a water pump on like a outboard, uh, motor uh, outboard bolt motor um huge taps files punches chisels all that fun stuff um all right basically next drawer oh and ba i was going to clean everything and make it re look really really good and i usually do keep my tools looking really good but i don't know i figured i would just leave it so everyone could kind of see the craziness you know like and it does look pretty good, but whatever. Wrenches, I'm going to try to blow through it. These big ones are Harbor Freight. They're great. I bought them a long time ago. These Easy Reds, they're not good. I paid way too much money for them off, I think, Snap-on. Way too much, like probably two-something, and I think they're crap. I broke them. Lifetime warranty, but, you know, whatever. Uh, old Craftsman, I mean, not that old, but made in America. They don't make any... I don't like that anymore. These are great. Metric. Uh, these are the Precision Torque Mac. I love, I absolutely love Mac tools and I love this uh, set of wrenches. A lot of people don't. I don't know why. I think they're great. I got them used off the truck for like really good. Um, you know, just uh, half moons. These are my flare nuts. I kind of got fucked on these. I bought these. These are the Z wrenches. I mean, they work good and they're cool. You know, they're like a ratcheting open end. I bought them like before they were really available to the market for like just way, way, way too much money. And and then they put them out for like forty something dollars, I think, when I paid, I think, seventy five. I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. They're good. I've been using them for a couple years now. They're pretty good. Uh, these are crappy offsets from Craftsman. These are just big 22s, 21s from Craftsman. Uh, these are all like speed standards I don't really use. These are, sorry, I'm like looking into the camera. Uh, more speeders. These are all Craftsman speeds. I got some interior tools, uh, some midgets over there. You know, just wrenches everywhere, whatever. These are the best. You know, you gotta have the big one. Uh, third drawer down, completely overwhelming. Oh, jeez. Uh, just completely overwhelming. I got all, uh, you know, a lot of Harbor Freight stuff. I'm sorry, I know I haven't been going over prices, but I mean, these are good. I got these from Harbor Freight. $20 probably. These are off the Mack truck, but I know they're Lyle. They're great picks. Uh, snap, you got a good picks. Snap ones. These are Torx drivers from Eastwood. You know, at first I didn't really like them. I don't know why, I thought they were brittle. But then I was taking apart the back of an air gun, believe it or not. Like one of my air guns broke my uh, impacts. 
and I was laying on it so goddamn hard. There's, I thought for sure it was gonna break, and it did hold up. So, you know what? Uh, I guess, I guess they are good. You know, it this it this used to look a little different. I kind of made these wrench racks out of uh, uh, like for uh, drying dishes or so. You go to uh, maybe Walmart or uh, Target has them. Cut them up. There one. It's some other guy on YouTube show show me. It's pretty good idea. I thought. Um, better than spending like twenty, thirty, forty bucks. Who knows what off the goddamn truck. Um. I have a lot of nice sets of pliers. I don't even, I mean, I'm sorry, screwdrivers. I don't even know why I have all this just stuffed in here. I'm probably going to give a lot of this to my friend who is kind of just getting into automotive and needs some just stuff to kind of get in his box and kind of get him dirty. So, you know, I have snap on sets and I just have, I just bought another really nice set that is a replica maximizer set off someone online when i say replica it's branded as something else some weird something weird i don't know but it is a maximizer screwdriver and i paid like 20 dollars for it for the whole the whole set that has like 20 of them in it whatever i'm sorry i'm going on with this um these are from harbor freight interior tools i mean i use them all the time i love them this is the best goddamn thing ever um I got this at Harbor Freight like years ago, and I lay on it so hard it does not break. Um, you can't get it anymore there. I have Mac ones in that box that I use, you know. But hey, I use this thing probably every day almost, and popping heater hoses and all that good stuff. Uh, you know, these are all my vices. These are pinch offs. Excuse me. Nozzles, top tool, really good company, really good company. I found this in underneath the hood of someone's car, like jammed in the, between the air box and the ECU or the PCM or whatever the hell it was. So, you know, you earned it. Love, love this tool. It seems like good quality. I would buy top tool now that I found it. It's probably a good thing for them because uh, I actually... I don't know where you find it. I look for it on Amazon. They don't have much. Um, just overwhelming, gigantic screwdriver um, for cutting up, uh, you know, brake lines and all that. Just some like really small uh, torch bits, stubbies, blah blah blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right, this drawer. Again, pretty overwhelming. It used to not really look like this. Snap on the torque wrench. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go faster. Uh, you know, I use this honestly more for, the, it's for pu pulling spark plug boots, but I use it more for pulling uh, valve seals, believe it or not. It's great for that. You just grab on there and yank them right out. It's great. Um, snap on. Pretty damn nice. Love them. Uh, got them actually for a really good deal. Uh, let's see. We got the whole Max set right there. Um, the oil filter wrenches. Gigantic wrench. Present from my buddy. Snap on torque wrench. Got the five bars. Got their cabinet style screwdrivers. Anything, anything else good in there um, guys again just completely overwhelming if you want to you know Harbor Freight man kicks ass I've had this box for probably probably almost two years I, probably not two years probably like a year and a half but almost two years and it hold, the only thing maybe it's my friends and it's not me but you know, we're always hanging out in here, and all of these tabs, like you see how I'm always leaning over here, like see this one has one, this one does not, the top one does not, this one does not, this one does, 
This one does, that one does, this one does not. They all just broke. And all, the only one, the top one, it would, it's the only thing holding the drawer back, so it would kind of slide out over time. So I basically had to go to Lowe's and get like a strip magnet and put it down here. And, you know, a little like dot of dap, maybe here and there. And it stuck really good. It's been there for like a couple months. It stays no problem. But other than that, I'm really, really, really happy with the box. You can see, look at the, there's just so much weight in that. It should be broken. Like it should be bowing. But, you know, oil filter wrenches. Um, if you ever get a Toyota Prius with a really tight filter, um, this is the only thing that will take it off. The factory, I have the factory tool, it will slip. Um, you know, Mac, Claw, great, uh, really a piece of crap. Don't even use this for like push. I, I would use this thing more for pushing in calibers. I actually love this. This is a craftsman. I gotta fight 20 bucks pushing in like big ass calibers. I don't like using a pry bar. I don't like using a big C clamp because I've actually had, um, cars in my shop come in with brake problems. From like overheated or you know whatever just break problems and then I've upon investigation have found cracked pistons and you know that ain't cool that's from a guy just not paying attention just shoving a pry bar in there and just blowing them out but big ass hammer um impact guns everywhere this thing's awesome just let her rip on this thing all day long no problems old Mac gun this is a just this is what I really use all day. Great. Got it for like 270, I think, off the truck. Great, great gun. It was on promo. I know it's more than that normally, but um, this thing, don't buy. I mean, it's okay. It's the SPA. I thought it was going to be really awesome. It says like. I don't know if it's going to get it. It says made in Japan, I believe, right there. whatever you get the point it's okay i don't know i wanted a really kick-ass cut off tool on this it just so i bought this off the snap-on truck for like a premium and uh i was i was very disappointed actually these things are actually however awesome got a hundred dollars every year mac will sell these for a hundred dollars you would get this one and you would get the straight cut fantastic deal uh, these are all just air hammer bits. Uh, this 3 8 snap arm, it's ex it's a lot of money. It sucks. Do not buy it. It's extremely fast, but only does like 30 pounds. And it's just, if you even, oh, it does have the right fitting. For the longest time, this had my old fittings on here because that's how long, that's how much I do not use it. Because I converted all my fittings like three years ago. Um, this is a gigantic wrench for cracking off fan belt sometimes. And they're like Dodge Rams and Forerunners and all that. This, speaking of, uh, this is like custom tool to hold it. Even though I do want to get a uh, the Lyle fan clutch removal tool for my air hammer right here. This is Campbell Housefield. Got this thing from Walmart, I believe. Um, it's really a cutoff tool, but I just kind of took it apart, even though you're really not supposed to. And rigged up my wheel on it just to clean things up faster. Cut off wheel from Harbor Freight. I know, it was, it seemed to have so much Harbor Freight in here, but not wrong with it. It gets the job done. Absolutely love Harbor Freight. Pickle fork set. Uh, it's probably from live brushes, blah, blah, blah. Struck compressor, even though I don't ever use those. Um, speed wrenches. Uh, just for maybe blasting out hubs. Um... Or just pop axles, whatever the deal. This torque wrench is broken. Don't know why it's in there. Just a bunch of hammers. Wow, wow, wow. That's really the heavy drawer. That's what I call it. Bottom. Just some boxes. Uh, this is my outer tie rod tool. Um, this is a Pittsburgh torque wrench, which is not good. It's just, I don't even really know why it's in here, to be honest. I don't even really know why it's in here. It's probably just, 
throw it in the garbage. I did, you know, it's not terrible. It's probably like within like 15% if that is, which would probably make it terrible. Out of time rod tool. Um, slide hammer kit with all the extensions. You know, you pull pilot bearings, pull hubs out when they're pressed in, all that good stuff. This is for flaring, brake lines. This is for oh, power steering pump removal for all the dodges and all that stuff. This is also for putting in hubs and putting, I'm, I'm sorry, not putting in hubs, but basically, you know, sometimes like the Fords, I think, and all that, you gotta like pull the axles in. It's like this whole fucking bullshit. You would use this tool. I mainly bought it to buy it for the adapter to pull the hubs out. Um, just two tab of die sets from hub free. This is the back, oh, I'm sorry, axle mount set. Point. Like there's just all the fittings there for my vacuum pump, refred kit, snap on. Absolutely love it. Use this thing all the time. Like absolutely all the time. I use a lot for checking stuff. You know when I, you know you get old cars or whatever. You know you break a fist and there that you just cannot find and you don't know the thread or whatever and you got to go buy one. Um, this is just in my opinion the easiest way to find it. Um, oh man, this is just. I'm, this is the axle set. I'm sorry. This is an O2 sensor set. I got so much crap. I get mistaken. This is a fuel tester set. My compression tester. Everything's got to go right back in perfect. Alright. See, I'm already dragging this thing like 25 minutes. Um, crazy drawer, basic scanner, you know, for just drive cycles and what have you. Gotta have Harbor Freight coupons, you know. This is seriously the best thing ever. Bought this off the truck. I know you can get it online. I bought it for like 20 bucks. Make squirt footage. Just a daydream. Absolute walk in the park. You know, I've seen it, you know, I, I have the twisters and all that. You know, I mean, you know, I sound like a pussy, but when you're doing a gigantic oil pan or something, this thing is just awesome. Uh, AC, you know, I got keys for customer cars in here. We've been sitting. <laughs> Not really customer car. This is actually my car, but when customers come in at 12 o'clock at night, they get thrown in here. Um... You know, this thing's awesome. My brother just gave it to me. He had it laying around. Just awesome. Like 60 degrees in here. Keys, you know, got a little Advil. Got some touch-up paint. Uh, some coils. My heli coil set. Um, blah, blah, blah. Just really, you know, the deal with these drawers. Stuff everywhere. Double-sided tape. Safety version. Next crazy drawer, <laughs> my thermometers, my Sharpies, uh, everyone knows these. Hmm. Uh, these are all O-rings, Teflon, Harbor Freight, awesome, Harbor Freight, awesome. Um, Post-its because I take a lot of notes. Blah, 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 Mac tools. Love Mac tools. Everyone knows that. Don't know why. Love snap on. Love Mac. Love all the free. Love anything that gets the job done. Uh, seal puller. Got a great deal. These are snap on crows for you guys. Yeah, I don't use them much, but I had needed them before, and I just got such a great deal that I had to buy. Uh, spark tester. This I just got a great deal on one day. The guy gave it to me for like 70 bucks, I think. I don't know why. It just things probably was sitting there for like five years. Um, I pretty much just bought it for the ring. Just a nice, simple offset. I'm sorry. I'm through the camera again. I barely even use the damn thing. Well, there's not a scratch on it. But... Again, my tools. Uh, these punches are not good. These are from Mac Tools. The, 
I know Harbor Freight sells them too, and they're even they're even like crappier. Uh, I paid probably like forty dollars for these. They're not that good in my opinion. I'd rather just punch it with my own hand. I know sometimes you can, and that's when these would particularly thrive. But I don't know. Sometimes if it's not if the metal is not like real soft, it's just not. I'm gonna touch it. Just a ridiculous amount of spark plug sockets. You know, I used to do a lot of work on quads and ATVs, and used to need like crazy shit like this to get in there. Real low profile. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Just completely overwhelming again. Impact driver, you gotta have these for rear brakes and all that. Um, gotta have these for boats, rusted all that. This is the best tool ever, Blue Point. You got this for like $10, my student discount a long time ago. Um, more tools, more electric tools. Allen heads, these are all for like, you know, removing. These are all like easy ass. Basically, these are fantastic. These are front crafts. I mean, you could buy them right at Sears if you have a Sears, even buy you anymore. But um, they they sell this separate. You know, it's like forty dollars and forty dollars, but they're totally worth it. Same ones that Mac has. They're fantastic. Beat the crap out of them. They've saved me so many times. And then if you got to get deep ones. Uh, I guess the Irwins are okay. I've never really had a problem with it, but snap on and I think Mako I Don't think Mako takes the Irwin one. I think they're a little better. I don't know Someone some crazy tool fanatic probably knows better than me, but these are Mac. I got these Good price a long time ago. These are great. These are the Extractor sets Sorry. Uh just some good drill bits. I mean, I have drill bits everywhere. Really good ones too. You know, I got the snap on them, so I'm bringing all this crap everywhere. Right there, those are the thunder bits by snap on. I haven't really seen them shine yet. I'm relatively new to them. These are amazing. These are from Harbor Freight. Blocking off all your lines everywhere. I have tons of them. I have to use them almost daily um, another impact driver just because I got crap everywhere you guys know the deal oh, nope. same job <laughs> I'm afraid I am wind it back to Cowboys gotta have that for uh Oh, four Mustangs. Um, you gotta have them for four escapes. <laughs> I just had that in probably, I don't know, three days ago. I needed that. Uh, a lot of cars, Honda. Uh, you know, sometimes the Cube just don't make it. Uh, these are pretty good. These are got for like 70 bucks. I mean, I think uh, the Thunder Bits are a lot better, but these are pretty good racing seals and racing bearings and all that um seal driver kit i guess they were pretty good pretty good kit um this is my horoscope if you could really call it that uh it does a really good job actually i shouldn't really talk about it i got it from harbor freight because i was in a serious bind once and i just needed to take a look down uh a timing uh cover had to look at the bottom there was no possible other way. It was like late. No one had Pep Boys. Nobody had one. Har uh, Home Depot and Lowe's didn't even have one, like a Ryobi or nothing. So I bought it. I was, it's actually good. Um, interior tools. There's another. Uh, it's just my uh, scope on a rope, as Eric O from South Maine Auto would call it. Um, I'm sorry. It's very late. Um, just, uh, I got these from Harbor Freight, just toy sticks, you know, I don't know why we'd ever need this gigantic one, but, I don't know, I got it if we ever need it, maybe trucks or, I guess, you know, trucks or whatever, polishing kit, use that for headlights, and getting out a little tiny, little well, scratches, you know, people complain, need, like, their door, like, cleaned up or whatever, that thing will take care of it, 
Uh, interior tools. Uh, this was a present from my friend, actually. It's awesome. Absolutely love it. Pretty much has most wheel locks. Mo and I say most. It's got all that good stuff. Love it. Great kit. Um, these are just, you know, uh, dream plug. You know, all the big hexes and all that. And all the weird, uh, like the really, you know, the... the uh, you know, I, uh, I, I had something the other day. It was called a... It was a heptagon. It's not in here. I have it over here. Right there. Where'd it go? I got it somewhere, but basically, it was a heptagon. And it was not five sides. I mean, I got to show you guys. Man, you see how, you see how disorganized that? This is unbelievable. Whatever the case may be. Go look up a heptagon. And apparently it's common. And uh, I have it because someone gave it to me. Oh, here it is. Can you see that? Can you see how the top is straight and the bottom comes to a point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. Crazy. I'm trying to get it for you. Crazy, but anyway, Hondas, you gotta have it. And basically, that's it for the box. You know, I got some... I'm sure I missed a lot. You know, I got... My meter, it's a fluke meter, I absolutely love it. My smoke machine from Mac, it's really a red line. It's very good, it did, it, the regulator did break down here. I have to get a new one. Not too happy about it because it is kind of new. Uh, the bladder, these are chassis ears in case you ever get the crazy, uh, you know, knock, noise, shimmy, whatever. And uh, you just, one of those weird things. I mean, you could use it for anything, injectors. I mean, guys will put it, you know, guys will put it in HVAC, around HVAC boxes sometimes. I mean, if you want to find, it just, could go on and on, you know, you can use it for probably endless things, but generally, generally I just use it for kind of its design purpose. Um, that's all my electrical stuff. I guess real quick, I got just so much. I don't want to turn this into a shop tour, I really don't. I guess 40 minutes, I'm fucking blue. Uh, too dark, too dark. But basically, ball joint press. Um, uh, 12 point axles, this is an air hammer kit. This is a polar set. This is a soldering set. This is a oil pressure set. That's my leak down tester. And I have a lot of grinding tools and all that. But, uh, yeah, guys, look at that, 40 minutes, it took forever. Great box, though.